when you mm-hmm. identify your goal, you just pursuing it, just just going full throttle with it. How did yeah. you know, like, okay, this is something that I want to do, but I'm not really sure what the outcome is because that's what stops a lot of people not knowing the outcome. Uh, honestly, I didn't care. Like, I felt as if if I just keep going, if I keep trying and seeing what's available to me, then it'll unlock the next version of myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I watched an interview this morning with Erica Badu and she was saying that you can't be somebody that you're not because you're not even on that timeline. So for me, I wasn't going to pretend I'm anybody but me. So at the time, I'm a junior in college. That is what I have access to. This is who I am. I'm pursuing my education. I love media. I love interviewing. And I tried, I tried a lot of different things. Like, First it was sports. I was the main news anchor on. So it's not that I had this idea of like, this is what it is and this is who I am. I was figuring out, like I knew what the goal was. It was always to be media mogul, Oprah, Beyonce level of success. I'm not there, I will get there. But when I was a junior, I I was not there. So I had to do things that were in my reach. So I started doing like, Side, I, I used to research even the football players. I'm like, who is the best wide receiver in at Hampton right now? And then I found who the best wide receiver was. I found um, all these things and I found these stories that nobody was paying attention to. So I, what I did was I packed up a camera. I packed up a microphone. I went to the field on game day and I set up even that's how I built so many relationships because I was such a go getter that these people were like, who is this girl who is giving her permission to do these things? Nobody gave me permission to do anything. I literally am the most rebellious person. If I see something I want, I'm going to go after it, obviously with moral and ethics. But at the same time, I'm very the type of person that will always go after. If I see a little opening, I'm going to go. I'm going to go for it. And that's what I started doing. And then when I was in school, that was okay. I really wanted that news anchor spot. I wanted that main anchor spot because I didn't know anybody on campus. So my whole idea was you have to build something. You can't just say, I want to be this. And you have not laid down any type of foundation whatsoever. Like a lot of girls ask me that all the time. Like, how are you this? How are you getting these opportunities? I created opportunities for myself. I interviewed any and everybody who would give me the opportunity to do so. I looked at their status. I looked at their value. I looked at who they were on campus. I wasn't just interviewing anybody. I was interviewing people who had something to say. And I feel like that's what ultimately helped with my journey and just professors seeing me the president seeing me on, on our campus and, and and our chief of staff, our security, people who I see on a day-to-day basis, I started to build that respect with my community and with the students. And coming in as a student that had never been to the campus, that's how things started happening for me. But I'm very grateful for the pandemic, even though it was a terrible thing for me, I used it to my advantage because everybody had masks. Everybody was very much social distance. So it kind of gave me room to kind of like, hey, you know, get to know people and kind of insert myself in these spaces that maybe if I if the pandemic didn't happen, maybe it could have been harder for me. I don't know. So it was very interesting, very interesting journey for me. There's always a reason behind the unknown. And yeah. what I've learned is that we've been proactively I think is that the right word? It, us being yeah. proactive and going to to seize the opportunities and not waiting on it, we have to learn that it takes time. The reason why I keep emphasizing that it takes time is that we we have to decide for today. 